my crazy game you can tell by the title of this video this is what i'm about to be giving y'all so let's just get into the video shall we hi crazy game i'm back um i hope y'all can hear me because i got my airpod in as y'all can see um this is uh another healing video as you can tell um but I want to go ahead and get this out the way so y'all won't be um, confused on why I've been gone for so long. Um, if that's how I come. So, please don't mind my hands. I just took my polish off. I am trying to, um, as y'all know, embrace my natural beauty. Um, and I'm trying to let my nails breathe because I will be putting on, on some nails for my birthday. And... Before I start this video, um, I do want to um, talk about this and show y'all little things that I have been treating myself with as well. I've been um, trying to, you know, put myself first and everything. And um, I've been trying to be more of a godly woman and um, to please um, Jehovah God which is our creator. So, yeah, I've been reading uh, this Bible to try to be more um, more of a godly woman and to just live my right, to live my life right in a positive way. And I wanted to read a scripture that really, like, hit me to the core. And it was Exodus chapter 34, verse 6. And it says, Jehovah was passing before him and declaring, Jehovah, Jehovah, a God miracle. I meant to say merciful. If I, if I said that right. Um, and compassionate, slow to anger, and abundant in love, loyal love, and true. And um, that kind of stuck out the most because when I was deep digging more into the, the scripture, it was relating to... Um, patience and I realized that I was impatient with myself so it caused me to have trust issues and having my heart broken and dealing with certain things I wish I never dealt with and I feel like I was a patient person but I was patient for the wrong people and not to you know talk bad about anybody but that's just how i feel personally on how i got deep into the scripture so i wrote it down and to look at it to remind myself i need to be patient with myself first because if i don't i'm going to come across the wrong people and deal with the wrong people that does not know how to be patient with me so before somebody to be patient with me, I need to start off and be patient with myself first. Everything has to do with myself first. So now I'm working on being patient. I had a bad habit of not being patient. Like for marriage, I wanted to be married so bad. I wanted to be somebody's fiance. I wanted to be able to have somebody to claim as my husband and my fiance. I wanted to be, you know, married and and build a family and just grow and develop with someone and every time I say something about marriage they'll either run off or be like I don't know and it's too soon and I'm feel like I feel like life is too short for you to be saying it's too soon and this and the third I never made an excuse to say why I didn't want to get married because I always had a dream of being a fiance wanted to get married and have kids and build a family and every time I came across somebody they wasn't ready and I'm like why is y'all not ready and I kept saying to myself is it me you don't want to marry me like what is it to the point where y'all don't want to get married now because that's a godly thing you supposed to get married before you want to do this and that and to build a family but every time I came across a person, they was just always making an excuse to for why they didn't want to get married. Or they wasn't financially stable. And I'm like, we can work on that. That's not no problem. Like, 
I know I'm not financially stable right now. Excuse me, I'm on my cycle. It's that time of the month, so I'm going to be stuttering a lot. But I know I'm not financially stable, but I still had that dream of being a fiance, being a wife, and to cater to my man. I want to, you know, cater to my man, make my man feel good. Because I'm a, I'm a people pleaser. Like, I want to please the people that I am close with. And... I turn around, I had never been pleased. All my life, I'd never been pleased. I have not had one man that brought me flowers. It was always something sexual involved. And I said, sex is not the first thing that's on my mind. I wanted to be more passionate, more meaningful. And I never got that out of a person. So I sat back and I said, you know what? I'm going to just cater to myself. Because nobody else is going to cater to me. So I have no choice but to cater to myself. So, yeah. So when I read that, I was like, I wasn't patient with myself. I wasn't patient with myself. I wasn't patient. So now I'm working on being patient. I'm trying to be patient within myself. And when I be patient with myself, hopefully and maybe somebody will be patient with me. And um, I knew I had a problem with patience, but that's because I feel like I've been waiting for so long to feel that that love and that passion and to feel appreciated and to be catered to. And I've been catering to myself for so long. It's like, dang, I'm tired of just caring to myself. When it's going to be someone to cater to me, why is always just me catering to myself? Like, why do nobody want to cater to me? I'm sorry. Hate to cry. But no, like, seriously, that's just how I feel. I don't feel appreciated. I don't feel like anybody want to cater to me. I'm always doing everything by myself. And it's hard to be relaxed and um it's hard to um relax and not worry when you've been worried all your life. It's hard. It's like I just want somebody to pat me on my back and say, You did it. Congratulations, you worked so hard. I want to be able to take a break, but I can't take a break. It's like I'm tired, but I'm not tired, you know? I hate to cry, but that's just how I feel, you know? I want somebody to massage my back and massage my feet the same way I will quit to massage my significant other, you know? So that's just how I feel. And I, I, I realized that I wasn't patient with myself. I didn't wait for the right man to really cater to me, I feel like. And that's just how I feel. I'm giving y'all the raw video right here. Excuse me from crying. It's hard to talk about it because I can relate so much to to this um to the scripture it might not sound like it's talking about patience but when I got more into the scripture it was like yeah I really wasn't um I really wasn't patient with myself so um if y'all ever see me smiling and laughing just know that's just how it looks on the outside. But on the inside, I'm crushed. I, I've been damaged mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, just the whole nine yards. So when I started reading more, I was like... It was meant for me to um, read it. So I'm just trying to um, 
cover all my patches. I just want to let y'all know I'm human. I might not cry on camera, but just know I'm crying behind the scenes. But um, it's just a part of healing. Sometimes you got to cry it out. So that's what I'm doing. I'm crying it out. I'm pushing through it until, um, you know, it's time for me to go, basically. And um, I just feel like... Sometimes I feel like my soulmate is not out here. But, um, I'm going to get through it. I'm going to, um, do the best I can and just hold myself down. Take care of myself like I've always been doing. I'm about to be 25, so I, I did it for this long. So why stop, you know? So, I'm going to just keep going. And since my birthday is coming, I want to treat myself to a car. I want to spoil myself more, take care of myself more. So, with that being said, y'all going to see um, birthday pics, well, born day pics, because I don't really do birthdays. So, um, I said to treat myself, I'm going to go out to eat, make myself feel pretty, um, and just work hard and give myself a car my own personal car for my birthday um so yeah excuse my crying i'm such a cry baby um i'm not really a cry baby because I'm, I'm a really really strong independent person and sometimes it's hard for me to like show my emotions because i have everything um balled up inside so i don't really show it but just know, um, I'm human. So, yeah. But let's just get into, um, enough, um, sad stuff. So, as y'all know, I said I want to treat myself to my car. So, I've been trying to save for my car. Um, I got me a budget book. And the first thing it says, you know, car. I labeled all of my envelopes and stuff. So I'm trying to save for a car first and then save for other things like my business. I want to start a business real soon and stuff like that. And y'all, guess what I found as well? I had found me a cute mug. Look at this mug, y'all. It is so cute. Y'all know I'm a big fan of mini. So, I got me a mini mug. I can't wait to use it when it's cold outside because I might use it before then because I want to put my hot chocolate in here. And look on the back, it says mini XOXO. I thought this was so cute. And it just fits me, you know. Yeah, so these are my colors right here. So, yeah. I thought this was so cute. I saw it in Big Lots and I said, I got to grab it. And look, y'all, it's here. But yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, just to show more of inside of, um, I guess, my emotional side and how I've really been feeling. But um, yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all that because, you know, y'all might not see me post in a couple days because y'all know I'm going to be grinding, working towards my car and trying to celebrate my born day. So, um... I hope y'all like this video. Sorry for the crying. I'm just an emotional creature. And I'm a Scorpio. So y'all know how that goes. Um, But yeah, I want y'all to subscribe, turn on post notifications, like, share, and comments. Don't forget to go down in the description box and follow all my social media. And comment down some video ideas y'all want me to do. And I will do them long if they're, you know, positive or whatever. Because I'm getting older. I'm being more mature. And um, I want to do more positive things on this channel. So, I love y'all crazy game. And I am out.